Good afternoon and uh, welcome to my video number 326. This video is about the estimation and uh, interpretation of uh, autoregressive distributed lag model in eViews. Uh, let me show how ARDL model is written. This is the structure of the ARDL model where the dependent variable is uh, change in yt. yt is the dependent variable and delta means change in yt. This is the difference between yt and minus yt minus 1. Uh, this is the constant and then uh, these are the uh, uh, various lagged values of the dependent variable. Then there are the lagged values of the independent variable and uh, these are the short run uh, relationship and uh, the last two coefficient that is phi 1 and yt minus 1 and phi 2 and uh, y x t minus 1 these are the long run relationship and uh, finally we have mu t and that is the uh, disturbance run also known as white noise. So short run coefficients are beta i's and uh, sigma i's the long run coefficients are phi 1 and phi 2 and uh, mu t is the uh, disturbance term. Uh, this is the relationship between ARDL and uh, ECM. In ARDL we use these long term these long run coefficients and uh, in ECM we use uh, this phi z t minus 1 these are the uh, um, lagged value of the residuals. So in the ARDL model ECT z t minus 1 is replaced with the yt minus 1 and xt minus 1. So when you replace the long run term with its residual the model reverts to ECM. The lagged residuals are series would be still zt minus 1 and that is equal to yt minus 1 minus beta naught minus beta na beta 1 times xt minus 1. So what we are doing in the ARDL model is to include the same lagged levels as we do in the ECM but without restricting their coefficients. Thus ARDL model is the form of unrestricted ECM because all the long run relationship variables the x i t minus 1 are specified and not restricted. This is my data file that I will be using uh, in uh, my uh, estimation of the ARDL model. This is government expenditure, this is GDP, this is investment, this is personal consumption expenditure and uh, this is the equation of the model but uh, let me go to my e-views and first of all uh, I would like to go to war and uh, I will estimate uh, D GDP D personal consumption expenditure and D investment and D government expenditure. So I will write this model in this form uh, and I am going to use standard war and uh, here is here is my war model. This is my war model. So from this model now I will uh, uh, check uh, the uh, leg length criteria. So I will go to leg structure and uh, then I will be doing this and let us suppose I include uh, 8 legs. So this is how do I uh, select the leg length and if you look at these uh, values uh, since two of the um, Schwarz criteria and Hanan criteria claims that uh, one leg should be included. So just for the sake of convenience I will use uh, leg 1. But I can also use uh, three legs in this because there are two um, criteria that uh, supports three legs. Uh, let us suppose for the sake of uh, convenience I just uh, select the first leg. So I will go to quick and now I will estimate equation and uh, I will use the same D GDP, D personal consumption expenditure, D investment and D G that is government expenditure 
I will change this to ARDL, Autoregressive Distributed Lake Model and uh, let me use uh, 8 and uh, also I am using 8 and uh, in the options I am changing this and I am selecting Hanan Queen criteria. Now this is my this is my new model that uh, I just uh, I just regressed ARDL model. Now this is a change uh, in uh, this is the first difference of GDP. This is the dependent variable, and uh, you know this the method is ARDL, and uh, this is the sample adjusted, and the total number of observations are 129 because there are uh, um, some lag values, and uh, the maximum dependent variable lags are 8 and uh, EVUs will automatically select it. The model selection method is Hanan Quinn criterion. The dynamic regressors uses 8 legs, but there is automatic selection and these are the regressors. Uh, change that is um, differenced personal consumption expenditure, differenced investment, differenced government expenditure and uh, uh, the fixed regression is the constant. The number of models evaluated by EVU is 5. 1832 and that is the final selected model ARDL 1000. So, uh, the leg, the first leg of the GDP is used and uh, then there is no leg used for PCE investment and uh, uh, government expenditure and uh, this is the Durban Watson test. So, now after this I will check uh, the model summary and uh, let me see the graph of the criteria since I am using Hanan Quinn criteria and uh, these are the top 20 models. So, the lesser the value of the criterion uh, the better the model. So, since this criterion has automatically selected this model ARDL1000. So, this is the model that I just showed to you. After this uh, I will go to coefficient diagnostics and uh, I would like to see whether there is a long run relationship or not. So, this is my uh, co-integration equation and uh, here is the bound test value. Now, this is the lower bound for integrated of 0 1 of uh, zero order and this is the uh, low uh, upper bound uh, integrated of order 1 and uh, the F statistic is 229.27. Since this value is greater than this upper bound that is integration of order 1. So, uh, we conclude that there is co-integration. There is co-integration. The null hypothesis is no level relationship, but uh, on the basis of this uh, uh, F statistic value, uh, we say that there is, we conclude that there is a uh, long run relationship. After this, I would like to go to see if there is a error correction mechanism. And uh, this is the error correction regression, ARDL error correction regression. And again, this value is greater than all these values. So, uh, there is a um, short run dynamics in the model and uh, since, since this is just uh, a theoretical model, hypothetical model. So, I can uh, show here in this model that uh, Uh, this is the cointegration equation coefficient. This is minus and it is significant, uh, but it should be less than 1. Since this is hypothetical data, so we are not concerned, but uh, if you are doing practical research for paper or for your PhD dissertation or MPhil thesis, that you must be concerned with this and this val value uh, should be uh, less than absolute uh, minus 1. So, this should be like uh, 0 point something uh, rather than minus 1 and the value should be in minus n should be uh, significant. 
After this, I will go to check some of the residual diagnostics. So, first of all, I am going to see the corollilogram and uh, this is the corollilogram of this model and uh, you see uh, there is no such problem of uh, autocorrelation. This is the partial correlation function and this is the autocorrelation uh, function and after that let me check if if we can have the histogram and this is the uh, Jarkabera test and uh, the Jarkabera test value is 9.96 but its p value is less than 0 0.05 so uh, we reject null hypothesis of uh, normality so the residuals are not normal they don't fall normality after this i will check uh, the serial correlation lm test and uh, these are uh, two legs so this observed r squared p value is 0 0.8 0 0.0897 which is greater than 0 0.05 uh, so we fail to reject the null hypothesis of no serial correlation and we can also check this for uh, arc arc model and uh, let me let me also check the heteroscedasticity here is the heteroscedasticity and i am going to check for the arc and uh, again on the basis of this uh, p value we fail to reject uh, the null hypothesis of uh, no heteroscedasticity so there is no problem of heteroscedasticity in this model we can also check heteroscedasticity uh, with uh, with the uh, bruschpegan godfrey test or white test and uh, based on bruschpegan godfrey we fail to reject the null hypothesis of no heteroscedasticity um, now i will uh, check the stability of the model and I can do that by clicking on recursive estimate and then I will uh, check Kusum test and uh, this is the model stability test and you see if this model goes out of uh, these red lines then the model is not stable. Since this blue line is within the upper and uh, lower bound so it means that uh, the model is uh, stable the model is stable so now i will go back to my uh, presentation and i uh, share with you my slides so this is the first uh, ardl model that was automatically selected by hanan twin criteria and this model is ardl 1000 so it is using uh, one leg for the dependent variable that is uh, gdp dgdp and no leg for uh, person consumption expenditure or investment or uh, government expenditure and uh, this is the uh, Henan Quinn criterion and uh, this model was selected so the lower the value of uh, the Henan Quinn criteria the, be the, be the better the model so this is the best fit and uh, this is the co-integrating equation and as I told you that uh, this p value is greater than uh, integrated half order 1 at 1% 1 level so uh, we conclude that there is co-integration, there is a long run relationship, since there is long run relationship then we will uh, estimate the ECM and this is the ACM equation and the co-integrating equation coefficient is minus 1.09 and it is significant but theoretically it should be less than minus 1, so it should be 0. Point, minus 0. Point something. Uh, after this uh, I checked uh, the ACF and uh, PACF and uh, the serial correlation test and the heteroscedasticity test and the normality test and the model stability and finally uh, we concluded that the model is stable. So ladies and gentlemen if uh, this is of uh, help to you kindly subscribe to the channel and uh, don't forget to click on the bell icon. I thank you very much for uh, watching my YouTube.